New in theaters this weekend, Shazam, Pet Cemetery, and the Best of Enemies. What will you see? This is your weekend ticket. Cuter to bust and almost kill these people. And then I caught it! Zachary Levi as a superhero, the coolest. This movie follows the story of 14 year old Billy Batson, who one day gets on the Philadelphia subway that somehow takes him to an ancient wizard dwelling realm and is given superpowers. Shazam! By saying the word Shazam, Billy transforms into a cape wearing adult superhero. Shazam! Nah, it didn't work. Still kale. I'd like to purchase some of your finest beer, please. <laughs> this movie is for you if you like comedy superhero movies. You find coming of age movies with a Tom Hanksian big twist super powerful, or Shazam! Dang. You can leave tall buildings in a single bound. In the woods today, LA discovered a charming little landmark, the Pet Cemetery. Also out this weekend, Pet Cemetery. This supernatural horror is the second adaptation of the Stephen King novel, with the first being the 1989 film. So many trees. It's beautiful, right? It's definitely not Boston. When Dr. Lewis and Rachel Creed relocate their family to rural Maine, they discover a pet cemetery slash evil ancient burial ground in the woods behind their home. Not creepy at all. There's something up there. Those woods belong to something else. Fun fact, thanks to the spelling of the title of this movie, I've never been confident in how to spell the word cemetery. It's spelled with a C. Thanks, Steven. This movie's for you if you're a fan of the original. Anything Stephen King gives you the creeps and you like it, or you've ever built something on an ancient burial ground. <laughs> Happens all the time. Last night, an electrical fire destroyed East End Elementary School. Where are we gonna go to school now? Not gonna have my kids going to temp school. They're gonna pump somewhere. Finally, out this weekend, The Best of Enemies. Taraji P. Henson and Sam Rockwell co star in this emotional drama about racial segregation tensions in 1971 Durham, North Carolina. Mississippi putting it down. I'm the hottest round. We gonna beat school segregation once and for all. Civil rights activist Anne Atwater, played by Taraji, and KKK leader C.P. Ellis, played by Sam, agree to co-chair a community meeting discussing school desegregation. The unlikely duo find themselves at the forefront of a very important time in American history. As long as this C.P. Ellis is of the world, keep getting their way, ain't nothing gonna change. She looked at me like I got some kind of monster. What'd you expect? This movie is for you if you like historical dramas about the civil rights movement, or you're impressed by the acting chops of Taraji P. Henson and Sam Rockwell. That is your weekend ticket. What will you see? And check back next week for a little movie. Shazam! Oh, come on.